Hi, and welcome back to today's morning report on Monday, the 21st of September, with me, Rich Pro Market Analyst at Handtech Markets. Moving on to sterling dollar, and um, we've had this sort of correction. Uh, we had this big, strong move in the last um, sort of Wednesday, Thursday last week. Thursday, obviously, inspired by the Fed, and where's that gone? Thursday, obviously, inspired by the Fed, and then a big retracement actually uh, on Friday, and that sort of to neutralises to a certain extent the outlook because you've still got um, well you've still got this sort of sequence or f- sort of tendency of, uh, of cable to push higher where these sort of little consolidating patterns move, move higher so to a certain extent you could argue that's what we're seeing at the moment but it sort of is taking a bit of shine off the off the bull run and the fact is that we've we had a, a poke to 56, 58, so around about where these old highs came in, the big old resistance band, which I've still got on this chart actually, around 56, 70, uh, between 56, 70, 56, 90. Interesting that that's sort of coming again uh, as the big resistance, and um, we've seen this uh, the RSI roll over, stochastics rolling over as well. So it's not it's not massively positive i think it's is more indicative of range bound trading um that we've seen in cable for the last few months anyway um and it will be very interesting to see if it can sort of continue to hold on to these moves because certainly the last couple of hours the the outlook's turned a little bit more negative again um falling away now this initial support 5475 i've got as that reaction high that we saw last week became the support here uh, 5484.85 was the support so those are key levels now and uh, you've seen that um, it's only uh, sort of 30 pips away from where we're trading now so this is uh, becoming a, a key correction now on this footsie uh, sorry on the um, on cable if cable does sort of break below that support 5475 that would certainly constitute a bit of a near-term top pattern you'd say and look at these hourly momentum indicators slightly bearishly diverging on the RSI with those highs and also the MACD lines have rolled over as well so stochastics also slightly bear diverging so it it, it is less positive than it certainly was and um, the uh, the last couple of hours of um, this uh, sort of dollar starting to get a bit of uh, bit of strength again could mean that that support gets tested 54.75 if that to, were to be broken you'd probably see a move back towards 53.30 uh, 53.30 on this chart certainly is a, a band of support um, being that old key low there and several lows that we've seen um, sort of the last couple of weeks around 53.30 as well so that is a key factor in this uh, in this chart um, but certainly the um, the reaction that we've had in the last couple of hours is just turning this outlook a little bit more neutral um, on the daily chart, but um, a little bit of um, possible danger for any long positions on the hourly chart if this uh, support at 54.75 is tested. So I wish you good luck in your trading today, and I will speak to you later. Thank you.